you can now use CloudGuard Cloud Security Posture Management to ensure compliance and security best practices for your Terraform templates. Here's an example of a CloudGuard Managed Ruleset. Begin by selecting an infrastructure to run the assessment on. If you're uploading a new infrastructure, begin by selecting the type. Terraform project files are used earlier in the development cycle, whereas the execution plan is a more comprehensive set of instructions used during a DevOps run. Today, I'll be uploading a zipped folder of my entire Terraform project. You have the option to select the entry path, which determines where to begin our scan. For example, a particular module or cloud account can be defined here. You can also add key value pairs for easy lookup, which serves as a unique identifier. The recently used tab stores your recently used files for ease of use. The files are stored for a minimum of 30 days. And now we run the assessment by clicking Select. Let's take a look at the widgets of the assessment results. We can see test scores of passed versus overall rules checked. Here we have 53.85% pass, and we want as close to 100% as possible. This shows pass versus failed entities, which can show you where your issues are. A good way of assessing your risk is this distribution of rule severity. You can also see the tested entities, so what type of entities failed. Now let's take a look at the filtering options. You can filter by rules that passed or failed. You can filter by severity. There's high, medium, low, and you can add multiple ones at the same time. You can also filter by entity type related rules. Let's take a look at one of the rules that failed. The rules are arranged by severity level, so the high severity ones would come up first. Let's take a look at the attributes of the entity. This attribute is set to false, but it needs to be set to true. The easiest way to fix this issue is open the main file in a code editor, find the related module, and set the attribute to true. When the assessment is run again in CloudGuard, it should pass this rule. The GSL Builder tool allows you to create customized rules. Navigate to the Terraform tab, and this time use Recently Used to select the file that was previously uploaded. The different entities representing your environment are uploaded to the CloudGuard platform. In this example, we can see a multi-cloud environment where we can simultaneously scan for misconfigurations on both Azure and AWS. The Builder option will allow you to build the rule with structured hints. There's one non-compliant entity. Expand to inspect the entity's attributes. Required numbers is set to false, but should be set to true. The Free Text option allows you to enter text for the rule directly. Get Resource is a new function added to GSL Builder. It can be used to create rules specifically for Terraform templates. These functions return values for properties of assets. In particular, they can return secondary values for assets. For example, the ports for source and destination in a security group assigned to an EC2 instance. I'll run the assessment and then expand to view the results. Tune into our next video to learn how to integrate the security scan into your CI-CD pipeline using Checkpoint's Shift-Left CLI tool.